This is my latest project. It's a three drawer chest for the main, our main bedroom. Um, now it's entirely 100% uh, dull construction. And uh, usually when I, do, when I d design a project like this, I, I like to use the raised panel system on the, t the two ends. Now the problem with that is that the the raised panel uh, system itself is very flexible. It's only a 3-8 penetration at each joint and it's, it's not strong at all. So it's not conducive to, this, to what we require here. So I'm going to join, this is the weak areas here, here, there and there. And I'm going to join these using dowels and I'll show you how to do that. My latest project is a three drawer dresser for a bedroom and uh, this uh, arrangement here represents one of the end panels. Now I, I, I always have a preference for doing the raised panel method for end panels simply because I don't like the plain, just a plain plank system. Um, the, the problem with using the raised panel is that it's, it's very weak. There's only 3-8 penetration in the, the joints and, the, and this, this is structural um, so in the same vein you, you shouldn't in my opinion you shouldn't be using poke holes or biscuits for this type of structure um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install um, two or three dolls in all four corners and uh, that will give it incredible strength um, now, before you start, uh, one, once you've cut all the, the, uh, the, the profiles for the raised panel system, uh, we want to make sure that um, the, 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 the lengths of both panels are exactly the same. So I, to do that, what I do is I use my old favorite um, painter's tape and I just tape across all these joints here. Uh, first of all, light, lightly clamp it, very lightly, because this panel here is intended to be floating. So just lightly clamp it and install this painter's tape on all these four joints there. And then just put it through the table saw carefully. And uh, make sure that the, the oh, that way you're ensuring that these are absolutely parallel and that your flush is at the ends. Now, the, one of the reasons for that is that uh, normally when we do the, the Dalmax system, you reference from one end and work your way down. Uh, the same here, work your way down. But in this particular case, because we know that these two are identical in length, we, we can work from the top down and from the bottom up. So let's get started. Now, as I said, I'm going to put two, two dolls, not three, two dolls in each corner. Uh, now an important thing to remember here is you're going, to, you're going to be, in this particular case, you're going to be referencing some from the front face here back and this face back. So we must ensure that these are all uh, absolutely flush with each other, all four faces, all eight faces actually, must be absolutely flush. So you've got to, uh, there might be require a, a little bit of sanding before you start. Um, now these are Mark six 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 five 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 and four four and three three at this end. Uh, we'll start with the this, this one here. Now, as I say, we're referencing from the from the front.
No, something on, well, before I start, um, the, the rule for centering on wood of any thickness is half the, half the stock thickness, less 3 eighths. So this is 7 eighths thick. So half that, 7 sixteenths, minus 3 eighths is plus a sixteenth. So to, to, to centre on that, in actual fact, what we want to do is centre very closely on either the mortise or the stub tenon. So we need this sixteenth spacer to do that, and you'll be spot on. The other thing I like to do, and I'm doing it more and more, is the, the best way to, to align end pieces on, on, on the, the dial, or dial mic system is to install the indexing pin on the, the extreme uh, dial uh, guide hole and uh, bring it along until it touches the, the workpiece. And this is this has proved to be really accurate. Now, I'm going to draw two and five, which I think is adequate. You'll see how accurate this is because I've already drilled these. I haven't taken any extra material off. Now, to do the opposite side, it's just exactly the same. Your reference marks here is, is four. Uh, bring this up, put the indexing pin in, uh, tighten it up. And then draw two and five. Now, and once again from the front, this is number six here. The check mark to the number six. Now, obviously, we'll have to do exactly the same thing again with the indexing pin. Move it in, bring it along, tighten. And then draw two and five. And we do exactly the same thing with this other style and this rail and we're ready to put this thing together. Something I should have mentioned in the last segment, um, it requires a, a drill uh, collar adjustment. Uh, when you're drilling into the, the rail here, you're drilling into the stub tenon and uh, if the dull's inch and a half, you just drill in, in three quarters of an inch and that gives you the three quarters of an inch plus a thirty second or a sixteenth or so. However, when you're drilling into the, to the mortise, it's, it's recessed exactly three eighths of an inch. So you have to add that to the three quarters. So you have to drill in actually an inch and eighth to get the proper uh, fitting. Um, so let's stop, assemble this. That's it complete and that's an extremely strong structure and uh, able to withstand racking. And now once we've uh, glued the centre panel and it's cured, uh, we're ready to join it to the, to the two legs. Um, a couple of little points here. Um, when, you're, when you're joining these, when you're gluing them, uh, use calls across here and here, because th this is quite a slop. It's only three penetration, so it's intent to bow. So if you use calls, it keeps it nice and, nice and straight. Now, another thing I do before, before I actually join into the legs, and this, this is when both of these are finished, so that you can do them exactly the same. To take a skim 
on each of these t these edges on both, and and uh, to, to make sure this is absolutely parallel and true, and make sure they're both exactly the same, or you have a, a difference when you're assembling it. Now I'm going to install uh, two, four, six on each uh, side, and. Um, they're three eight dolls and um, they only need to be an inch and a half long. This is extremely strong. Um, you'll be drilling into the centre of the centre panel, that's seven eighths thick if you can recall, and we'll be offsetting three eighths uh, from the, the front of the, um, the leg here. So let's get started. Now we begin by installing the Reference marks. I've got three, 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 four, 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 and um, and we're, in this case we're using the extended distance gauge. Now I'll begin with the the left, the leg. Now, as I said, I want a 3 8 offset, so because we've already used the, the uh, 16 spacer for the, the panel, we have to add in the, th the 16 spacer to the 3 8 to get a 3 8 offset. Now, once again, I'm going to use the uh, index pin to, to begin, keep it nice and true. And um, drill set it just over three quarters. And I'm going to drill uh, three and four. Uh, now take the indicator out, move it along. Now I always get into the same routine, I always put it on the last, last bore. Make sure it's uh, straight and true and the right height. Bring it here, and then in this case we do one and two. Move it along again. Uh, I always mark this end here so that sometimes if you get into the centre here, you can use it in the wrong uh, setting. So I've got a green tape on here to show me which end is the front end and bring it down here tightly clamp and once again same as here three and four Number three here. Um, so we disassembled the max again and we installed this. This is 70 thick, so we installed the 16 spacer. And once again, we do exactly the same thing as we did with the leg use the indexing pin, bring it along, tighten up. And drill three and four. And down again. Into the last bore. Make sure it's true. Drill one and two. And three and four again. And 
And we do exactly the same thing with the the opposite leg and the other side of the center panel and we're ready to assemble. And now we're ready to assemble. And that's the one end finished. A very strong assembly. <laughs>